Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we are gonna talk about our Visual Force page and Visual Force component that we created in our previous two videos. Um, if you haven't seen that, feel free to go check that out. Um, so here we're gonna add a Apex class that will basically show the account names um, inside of the page. So at the moment, if, if you click preview, um, you'll see we've got our Hello World and Hello World 2. So now next thing we're gonna do is just create a basic Apex class. Um, let's call this one account controller. And inside of this, we're just gonna do a few basic little things just to get our list. So let's do public list string. And inside of this, we'll just call this account names. And get set alrighty so now next step is let's just create our little constructor here so account controller and create a new account names all right so basically just trying to get that list of strings calling that here now for account ACC. So basically what we want to do here is we want to get, we just want to get the, the names. So let's go select name from account. All right. And next step would be, we want to use the string that we've got um, and then just add all the account names. Let's go add name. Alrighty, so yeah, we're just adding all of those names to this string that we've got there at the top. Okay, so now next step would be if we go to our component, um, which is this one here. Uh, first thing we need to do is just put in our, basically call our um, account controller. All right, so if you don't put put that at the top, it's obviously not gonna work. So just remember to put that. All right, so there's quite a few different ways you can do this with um, Visual Force. Um, like if you type Apex, you can see all the different stuff you get there. Um, we're just gonna use something like repeat, and then we'll put in our value, which will be the account names. All right, so th this is pretty much the same variable that we've got on the other side so that list that we've got um and then let's go variable equals acct and close that bracket obviously cool so we've got our first step there so the next one will just be we want to basically put it into text so let's use our apex um, output text and inside of this little tag or actually you can just put it in here so let's go value equals quotes let's do double quotes and put in our variable that we've got over there and boom so I think that should do it. Let's maybe just put in a little break tag here at the end. So let's go break. All right, so what's the issue here? Do, do, do. Ah, there we go. So yeah, if you, if you basically put in a tag twice, um, you need to make sure you've got that forward slash there, but if you're only using it once, similar to this, um, just make sure that it's in there, otherwise you're gonna get, get an error. Uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Next step we can do is, let's go to our, our Visual Force page. So we've got our page here which calls our components up here at the top. Um, here we've got our component, component which calls the Apex controller and basically just displays the list of records that we get from the SQL query. So yeah, it's pretty pretty simple in a way. 
Um, if you don't understand it, just maybe watch the video a couple of times and try it for yourself. So if you hit preview button now, and we go here, perfect. So you can see all the account names that we've got there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we've got our Hello World and Hello World 2 at the bottom, which is basically just our text that we got here. And then inside of our components. Yeah, if you found this video helpful, please, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.